Facebook Live is one of the most powerful tools you have at your disposal for social media marketing. Guides for Brides following has gone from 55,000 in January right up to 63,000 in October and most of that is attributed to the power of Facebook Live. So here's how you go live on Facebook via a phone. Hi everyone, it's Nikita here from Guides for Brides and today I'll be running you through how to go live on Facebook via a smartphone or a tablet. So for this you will need a smartphone or tablet with the Facebook app installed. Then you're also going to need a decent lighting. You can use a um, natural light from a window or a ring light like this is a really perfect tool for that. And you'll also need some decent Wi-Fi or cellular signal. So if you're ready, I'm going to run you through. So here I am on my Facebook page and I am looking for the publish button. So it's that little button there on the left next to photo, which says publish underneath it. It's got a pen and paper icon. On Android devices, it's named something different. I think it's posts, but I'm not 100% sure, but it is exactly the same icon. So where it says what's on your mind, that's where you add your caption. When your audience gets a notification of you going live, this is what they will see, or they'll see a snippet of it at the very least. So make sure you have put something in there, um, just to make sure that your audience know what you're talking about, maybe something compelling, or that makes them want to click on that notification. So I'm just gonna type example in there. And as you'll see, all of those options at the bottom disappeared, but that's no problem. I'm just pressing add to your post, and live video comes up just there. Now, you get to see my face. If you can't see your face when you open the app, um, sorry, when you, when you click on going live, you will see that there is an option to access the microphone and access the camera. So you will need to press those options um, to make sure that you can do that. And if you can see yourself, that's perfect. Um, if you need to add a flash, it's right at the top there makes it quite bright um, and then if you need to turn the camera around you'll be able to see my laptop now but if you need to turn the camera around it's there so usually people will mainly do it in a selfie mode uh, but it's completely up to you if you're filming an event or an awards night or something like that you might want to be able to turn the camera around so if you um, want to change your caption just click on the text there and you can adjust it so example of live there we go. And I can tag anyone in there as well. It, it's not the end of the world if you've forgotten to tag. And you can always edit after. So if you've noticed a mistake um, while you are in the middle of your life, don't stress. We can always change that straight after. Perfect. And you'll see there's lots of different options here. I wouldn't play around with these if you're wanting to keep it professional. Um, but there is options to raise money for a charity, promote a link, etc, etc. And when you're ready to go live, all you need to do is press this start live button. It's big and blue, you will not miss it. As soon as you've pressed that, there'll be a little countdown. On some phones, it counts down from three to one. On others, it's just a circle that completes. And as soon as you've done all that, um, you should be able to access your, um, your live video. As soon as you've gone live, you'll be able to see that it's a little red button in the top some phones it's on the right, some phones it's on the left, um, and there's a little eye button which tells you how many viewers you've got. And it's as simple as that. Going live is not difficult at all, especially from a phone. Um, it's a bit more difficult going live from a laptop. We tend to avoid that because it does require um, an extra streaming service, um, but the Facebook app has that built in, so we find it's a lot easier to go live via an app on a tablet or a smartphone. Especially if you're a beginner, that's the one we would recommend choosing. That's all from me, so don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this.